we have here this image and we want to know if this black area here is a trench or art artifact. So first thing in the tilt removal let's have no line bias. So we choose here none. So already we see that it doesn't seem so much as a trench. But let's investigate this a little bit more. Let's save it as a STP file. So we're going to save here the height channel and the trace. We're going to save it and then open WSXM to look at the STP file. So when we open the file we have to make sure that here plane is not checked. So we uncheck that and we're going to open the file. So also here that trench is not really seen so it's already more suspicious as an artifact. Let's look at a profile. So here left click, right click, and we see here the profile. So we see here this start to scan and move in the Y direction slowly. And then there was suddenly a jump and continue to scan in the Y direction. We don't see here a trench. Now why is this first of all slope? This is because there's a certain tilt R of the sample or a little bit of the scanner in the Y direction. So for next time it's better first to scan in the Y direction and do slope compensation and then scan back in the X direction. Now why is this jump why does this jump happen? It might be when the tip was scanning this particle that the edge of the tip might have just broken or a little bit bent and for the feedback the scanner had to compensate for that height difference so therefore we have this jump. Now if we want to see an image with this particle flattened so let's use flatten the flatten filter we'll use flatten using paths we're going to choose a new path left click left click and then right let's do another one left click, left click, right. I'm going to choose here line and then apply flatten using paths. Okay and voila we have a nice flattened image with a particle on it. We can also look at 3D. There we go. We can use here keep proportional between scales and there we go.